I think it means a lot, right? I think Benny obviously has been here for a little bit and, you know, experienced some of the stuff in the past and got that feeling that he wants to change it, right? So what an opportunity to do that against a team that's, you know, at the moment probably one of the top teams in our league. So, um, yeah, I thought it was a great opportunity for Benny to step up, and he did that, and, and I think the rest of the team just followed along. But it was such a great performance for, for, the, for the whole group um, as a whole. I mean, looking back, you look at the spring and what happened, you look at now the number two seed in the CA tournament, and what do you think the biggest difference was? Yeah, I think the guys just buying into to kind of what we're doing here, but also just really relying on each other. Um, I think is no secret how close the group is compared to the spring, right? Um, to be fair to them, I think in the spring there's a lot of factors that led to some of the performance, but you know a lot of it was kind of out of their control, and I think everybody knows what I'm talking about, but you know what? I don't think any of us made any excuses coming into this year, right? We knew it had to be better. We knew it was an opportunity for us to, to do better with the players that we had, and, and luckily we've done that so far. How proud are you of this team and just what they've been able to accomplish so far? Yeah, no, I'm proud of them, right, because I think a lot of people gave up on them and, and really didn't know the quality we had within the group. Um, and I think we've been progressing here um, the last three years, and we took a, a huge step back, obviously, in the spring. But we knew coming forward, especially with the fall, that if a lot of the guys that we had coming back were focused and, and mentally ready to go, that we had a good enough group. So um, I'm just so happy and proud of them that they continue to move forward. But you know what? I'll be happy and proud of them after the season because we still have a lot of work to do, and we know there's a lot of work in front of us, especially a team like Elon that's obviously playing well right now. Yeah, you talk about all that work ahead of you. How do you get a CAA championship? What needs to happen? Well, I'm going to give you the coach speech here first. Uh, I think we need to have a good training session tomorrow. All right, travel down to Hostra, have a great training session there, and then face the Elon team. That's unbelievable, right? So. Um, you start worrying about CAA championship, you worry about the wrong thing because you have a team in Elon that's obviously come in and, and, and know how to play against us. We tied them early in the year. So for us, it's really focusing on Elon, but more important than that, focusing on ourselves and trying to get a good training session um, here on, on, on Tuesday and then going to Wednesday.